Well, we are just over two weeks away from the start of the Latino Film Festival, an event that has grown in numbers and impact over its 15 years. To talk more about that, plus what is planned this year, we have Ethan Von Tilo joining us again this morning. Good to see you. Back here every year to promote it. Yeah. Great to have you back once again. Celebrating 15 years 15. And, very, and very excited. Yes. And compare that. 15 years ago, what was the scene like compared to today? Well, really, there weren't many Latino film festivals in the country. First of all, there weren't many Latinos on screen, both TV and film. Now we're seeing an explosion of Latino entertainment both on film and video and TV sure. and so we're excited to be a part of that celebration expecting 20,000 people this year to attend wow. and over 100 actors and directors coming from all over Latin America Mexico Spain and the US what is one of your biggest success stories over those 15 years well really you look at two people in, in, in particular Diego Luna and Gael Garcia Bernal they first came to our film festival as actors in a film called y tu mamá también which was not a big hit at that time they came here and now look at them they're huge Hollywood stars they've been Hollywood films uh, films from and they've been nominated for Oscars. These guys are now returning to our film festival this year and directing their first feature film. So Fantastic. not only are they stars, but also now they're directing feature films. One's called Deficit and the other one's called J.C. Chavez. So two good films to watch at this year's Fantastic. film festival. Fantastic. Speaking about films to watch, you brought us a couple. Let's go ahead and plop one up on the screen here and you'll tell us if you would about it. What are we seeing here? Yeah, definitely. This is great. This is an example of a local filmmaker. You know, we try to support local filmmakers too. And this is Gustavo Vasquez who made a great documentary about the Tijuana Lucha Libre, the wrestling scene uh, in Tijuana. Uh, south of the border here and it's really important for us as an organization the Media Arts Center San Diego that puts on the Latino Film Festival to support local filmmakers both we have a teen program and then also someone like Gustavo Vasquez who's an independent filmmaker very nice and I believe we have one more to show here this uh, this morning we'll put it up uh, this animated. is yeah this is La Leyenda de la Noala it's a, uh, a part of our animation showcase every year that we have and it also shows you that this film festival is for everyone it's for families too and so you don't you're not just gonna see dramas or films for adults uh, families can come in we have Dora the Explorer coming oh, cool. we have this is a, actually a US premiere of an animated film that just was released in Mexico that's all about the Day of the Dead celebration in Mexico excellent oh, family fun and really there's something for everyone at the film festival there's English subtitles so just bring the family bring everyone Everyone coming down and experience films. And a, a final question before we give the information. How many films are actually being done on film today? Many, of the, if you're not in the industry, you may not realize it's few, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Everything's going digital. Even the projection of the films are going digital. So I would say like, you know, 75% of the films are all digital. You know, we receive 400 films and out of the 400 films, we probably select about 150 films to screen at this year's film festival. But costs have come down. That allows more people to come in, does it not? Yeah, definitely, definitely. But, uh, you know, our film festival is all about showing the best of the world. Of course. World. So we're screening films that have been in Cannes, Toronto, Tribeca, nice. Sundance Film Festival. You'll see it at our film festival. Well, the San Diego Latino Film Festival will take place from March 6th through the 16th at the Ultra Star Cinemas at Hazard Center in Mission Valley. For more information, you can go to our website at NBCSanDiego.com and click on Learn More and then mornings on NBC 739. And don't forget, you can also, this is great, I love how we're teaming up here, you can win tickets to the Latino Film Festival um, by going to our website because we also are gonna make it our uh, Friday freebie giveaway. So that's all coming up. Uh, again, the Latino Film Festival right around the corner. Ethan, thank you very Thanks. much for coming by Thanks once again. Time. We wish you great success at the festival. Great. See you at the movies. All right.